sports fans, uh, welcome back. Uh, we had a brief break there, but I'm, I'm back with you now, so I've got a few more scores to announce. Uh, the New England Patriots beat the Buffalo Bills at Ralph Wilson Stadium, and Buffalo 16-10, to and uh, the Patriots had a chance, and they just could not capitalize on it, and, uh, um, and, uh, and the Patriots get the win. I got to give the game ball to Tom Brady by far. I got to give it to him. Uh, the Carolina Panthers got their second win of the season. They upset the Houston Texans at NRG Stadium in Houston, 16-10. to And I have to give the game ball to their backup quarterback, Kyle Allen. I have to give it to him. And this is a big win for the Panthers today. Well, the uh, San Diego Chargers went to 2-2. Two and two, and uh, by beating the Miami Dolphins, uh, 30 to 10, and Miami falls to 0 and 4, and I just feel it's going to be a long season for Miami. They're going to have a hard time struggling as, besides the Redskins, and I have to give the game ball to Philip Rivers. I have to give it to him. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers upset the Los Angeles Rams at Ellen Memorial Coliseum in uh, in uh, Los Angeles, California, 55 to 40, and this one was a horse race. Uh, but they, the Rams battled back because they, they were down, but uh, but they, they had their chances and could not capitalize on it. And I have to give the game ball to uh, Jameson, uh, Jameson Wilson. I have to give it to him. He gets the game ball today. Uh, the, uh, excuse me, the uh, Chicago Bears beat the Minnesota Vikings uh, 16-6 today at Soldier Field uh, in Chicago. Uh, Mr. Biskey, uh Played early, but then uh, went out because I think he might have. I don't know if he had an injury or what, but I think he might have. And then Chase Daniel came in, and uh, he really had a great game, and I have to give the game ball to, their, to Chase Daniel, uh, Mr. Trubisky's backup quarterback. And so uh, it, was a, just a, it was a great game. And the Vikings, they just uh, they struggled offensively and defensively today, even though they, they did score one, uh, I think, one touchdown, I think. I can't remember. But um, and uh, so... Uh, uh, the Seattle Seahawks uh, beat the uh, Arizona Cardinals at University of Phoenix Stadium in Arizona, 27-10. to And uh, the Seahawks had this game. Uh, they they led 10-7, and the Cardinals had a chance, but then Seattle just had it from the get-go. And, uh, and uh, so, uh, yeah, and, uh, and Seattle not just gets the win. And the Cardinals sort of offensively or defensively, and I have to give the game ball to uh, – Russell Wilson, and uh, to catch up on the picks, I won with Seattle, and so did my brother-in-law. We lost with the Rams. We both took the Bucks, and uh, with the uh, we both won with the Chargers, and so and went with New England as well. So I want to get you caught up on that, uh, and we won with the Bears as well. And the uh, the uh, uh, Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Broncos by two at Sports Authority Field in Denver, 26-24. And uh, I have to give the game ball to, uh, uh, to uh, Garner uh, Mitchell II and Leonard Ferrante. I have to give it to both of them. And uh, so uh, I lost on that one, and my brother-in-law won on that one. And actually, my brother-in-law lost on the, on the Chicago Bears one, so I won on that one, so... But we're both 7-7 seven seven right now, and uh, the Dallas Cowboys and the New Orleans Saints are, have been scoring off at uh, Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, and uh, the Saints are up 12-10, to 10, and it was last uh, 13-41, but I think it's late in the fourth quarter, so I'll uh, keep you updated and, and have a post-game show for the uh, uh, that one coming up once it is done. And tomorrow night on Monday Night Football, the Bengals will take on the Steelers at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And I've got the Steelers for that one and Dallas for that one. So I think my, we both have the same ones for those these last two games. And I think my brother-in-law and I are going to end up in a tie. So, uh, th- yeah, that's basically a lot of a lot of upsets in week four this week. So, uh, and just what a, what a day for the Cleveland Browns. This was a great game. And, uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the uh, Scott Sports 101 week four uh, uh, recap for this week, and I'll have the uh, Sunday Night Football post-game show once the Bears, the Saint Dallas and uh, New Orleans Saints game has concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player, 
each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.